Hey, good morning. Welcome back inside the treasure chest. If you don't know me, I'm Frank. My wife, Janelle, who's actually filming me right now, so you don't see her. We sell stuff on eBay. She does it full-time, sells stuff that she finds from garage sales, thrift stores, and wherever else for that matter. And um, if you've been watching us for a while, we do a weekly What Sold video. We're switching to more of a vlog style, maybe a daily vlog, every couple day vlog, might group a few days together. All oh, depends what goes on that day. We're gonna, we're gonna try to bore you with too much of the day-to-day -day activities. This is gonna seem like a What Sold video because we're shipping out, um, it's Sunday, so we're shipping out all of our orders from the weekend and it's a lot. So it's, it's gonna be a kind of a lengthy video going through everything that we sold. And uh, there's not gonna really be a whole lot of time left to gab and you know, blab about our daily vlog sort of stuff, but whatever. We'll uh, hurry up and get to work here and show you what we got. Uh, sounds like a lot, but we had a really slow week. So it, it balanced out. It turned out to be, you know, by the time we hit the weekend, it was like, wow, we're pretty behind in sales this week. And then this all came in. It's like, okay, cool, we're average now. So, and also, if you notice, we have a ton of stuff. Don't get overwhelmed. You can do this too. You can make it a hobby. You can do it out of a spare bedroom. You don't need to scale it to this size. My wife does it for a full-time income, so we scale it. You know, we basically use it as part of our livelihood, so. We started out really small. Um, we we started out in our townhouse up in the upstairs hallway. I, I did it on a dresser, and so. Let's get to work. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, um, I, I couldn't fit it all on the table, so we're gonna break it up into two sections. I'll show you this stuff, pack it up, and then we'll show you another batch. First thing is, Janelle just recently listed this. It's a vintage uh, 90s Buffalo Bills hat. Uh, snack back hat that sold for $49.99. I believe it's new with tags. Yep. And Janelle found that. I found that at the bins actually. I mean, even being at the bins, it was, it's in excellent shape. <laughs> so again, all of, you know, if this is your first video watching of us, when she says bins, she means the Goodwill Clearance Center. It's all stuff that's thrown into a bunch of bins. It's um, you don't find this sort of stuff every day. It's 99% of it's junk, and it gives me high anxiety if you're a bit of a uh, OCD guy. But Janelle actually loves digging through the junk to find this sort of stuff. So there's there's some labor involved to it. And she found this. And whenever you find stuff, it's by the weight. So it's literally less than a buck whenever you, you find something. And I think really heavy things, they even they don't even do by weight. They'll give you a flat price so you're not paying yep. a fortune on. Yep, exactly. Next thing is, you'll be kind of surprised, these actually sell. Uh, we've been trying to keep one or two of these on hand because they'll, they'll, you know, it'll take a couple months to move them, but they do move, so we'll, we'll probably be getting another one of these just because of how many we see. It's a vintage true two-drawer audio cassette tape storage. Holds uh, 40 cassettes. The, VH ones, the VHS ones sell as well. You just have to, uh, they're just a little slower. I don't remember. Oh, we listed this back in May. Uh, the next thing we got, we, Janelle just listed this. Um, we got a lot of offers on this and we sat on it. I, I shouldn't even say sat because it's only been a week, but we didn't take the offers because we wanted to see if it would sell full price and it did. $110, it's a Sony FM stereo synthesized receiver. Um, does it have like a radio on it or how's this? I honestly don't know. I, it turns on, it does work, but I don't know how it all how it all works. I mean, it's I, I don't even know. I'm not really sure. There's a, there was a little dent in the speaker, and yeah. we we uh, disclosed that. You'll actually, if you want to see it unwrapped, other than the picture, that we actually have footage of Janelle finding that, and telling you where she found it and how much she paid for it. To uh, maybe I'll plug the video in here for you if you want to check it out. Next day, I'm I'm surprised this sold. Um, it came in a big lot of records we had, so I I was course not going to just trash it I mean, you might as well list it and see what you get for it it's a stars on long play i listed it back in may it's uh, another one of our records sold for seven dollars and 61 cents i think we got less than a dollar into all of our records i i try to get our records i mean unless it's a like an 80s unless it's like an 80s rock band record or something that's really good i try to get like records like this the no name stuff that nobody ever wants for like 25 cents like 25 to 50 cents is my price point on records that i'll buy a big lot of um i probably wouldn't buy a bit another big lot right now just because we're sitting on so many sold a genesis game or um, sega genesis wwf raw the old vintage wwf before they switched to the wwe I watched a little WWF when I was a kid. It was pretty cool until I realized how fake it was when I got a little older and lost interest. 
Sold that for $19.99. And that's game, case, and manual included. I got that for a dollar at a garage sale. A bunch of bunch of Sega Genesis games. They were all Yeah, that was a, that was a really good score. I got I got excited when you found that. Well, and it was funny, the lady that I bought them from, she said, you know, as I was buying them and looking at them, she said that she used these to prop up her Christmas decorations in her kitchen. And I'm like, expensive I, I, props. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, hopefully she finds, I don't know, I'm glad she's finally selling them. But it was, it was pretty funny. It made me laugh. And it, it, the other reason I was excited about this, you know, I, I don't know how many of you guys watch the other YouTube channels that, that we watch, but I don't, I don't even know, maybe you guys even do this too but all you all that find all these video game lots for like next to nothing or cheap or good deals we don't ever find that around here i don't know if it's our area and just video games are big around here and people know the value of them whenever we find video game stuff for sale it's going for ebay prices so there's not really much profit to be had on video game stuff around here i mean you do find it you got to really dig but it's it's not as easy as you guys make it look. You know, hey, you got any video game stuff? Oh yeah, I got this whole box of Super Nintendo stuff for 20 bucks. Hey, take it. No, it's it's few and far between around here. Uh, Janelle, I'll have to help you out with this. I, I guess it's just some some uh, Barbie Playtime Kitties figures. Yep, it's uh, Barbie Playtime Kitties. Um, it was like a playset or something. And I actually didn't, exa I thought they were Barbie, but I didn't know. I went on a Facebook group that I'm part of for um, toy IDing and Barbie, you know, Barbie IDing and everything, and they knew exactly what it was. Some of those groups are really, really great. This was actually in my death pile and sold for almost thirty dollars. So I, I was, that was good. Finally, get that up. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine. That sold for. Again, we charge shipping for everything. Uh, we'll just put that out there. We're not gonna get into the argument on whether to offer free shipping or not, but we charge shipping. Um, yeah, and that, that's another tip, guys. I, if if you're looking to get into reselling and stuff, I, I know a lot of YouTube other YouTubers don't really mention it. Get into Facebook groups. I mean, you can learn a ton of knowledge off of Facebook groups or you know whatever niches you want to sell and get into. If you're into Barbies, you know, get into a Barbies, and you never know. Some people are looking; they'll post on their, "Hey, I'm looking for this certain bar." Hey, wait a minute, I got that in my inventory. You want to buy it? You know, I know Janelle's gotten into some Starbucks group pages for the Starbucks cups and the collectors, and, and she does awesome in them. I mean, we don't get a lot of sales, but she gets educated. She finds out what people are looking for. People actually chime in and complain about the way people ship Starbucks cups. That they like them. I mean, these Starbucks people, they're they're pretty picky on the way they want their stuff, but they'll they'll specify the way they prefer their cups shipped. So we, you know, we we jot notes down, take the notes, and and follow suit with it. And we've we've gotten a lot of happy customers because of them Facebook groups. And it gives you an idea on what people are willing to pay for stuff too. We sold some jeans. I am so glad these. I Jenna found these new with tag jeans a while back. As you can see, I listed them in March. I thought they'd sell. I mean, I, I guess I had them kind of high. Do we lower the price on these? Or? We've tried to send offers. We've lowered the price. I mean, they're new with tags. I I don't know. I mean, they're an older... An Wrangler, older Wrangler Blues, Dress Easy, Relax Fit. Uh, what about the size? Is it a weird size, maybe? Eight, well, eight, I mean, it's, it's a petite. Well, 30. I don't know. Maybe, the maybe the size is just odd. Well, the, the funny thing about this is, though, they, they sold for the $24.99, but they paid as much in shipping. It's going to Russia. So I don't know. Maybe... Maybe there's a shortage in jeans in Russia. Glad we could help. So that's it for this page. Let me break away, get to work, ship. Uh, well, I shouldn't say ship because it's Sunday. It's not getting shipped. I try to use the proper terms. I'm going to try to get this packed, labeled up, ready to go out for Monday morning. And I'll load up the table with the second batch and show you what else we sold. Hey, real quick. This is in the middle of packing. If you're a reseller watching our videos, let me know. I'm, I'm real curious. Do you guys turn your reused boxes inside out to hide the writing? Like this, this tape player here, it's going, because it's so big, it's going UPS ground for cheaper shipping. And I, I don't know, I, just, I guess you don't need to. I just, I feel weird sending an Amazon box. You know, I, I'm sure they're smart enough to know it's not coming from Amazon, but I guess it's my OCD-ness. I like to send them a plain brown box. Let me know what you guys do, just curious. All of, I don't know which camera you're looking through. I, I got the first batch all packed up. Uh, Janelle's just got to weigh them and label them. Or does Frank have to? We'll see. <laughs> okay. Um, I got another batch up here. I'm going to try to get through this quickly because it's starting to get hot in here. Well, we're doing 
we usually ship Sunday nights, or I'm sorry, pack. We usually pack Sunday nights for the week from the weekend's orders because we'll be busy doing fun things all day Sunday, but we actually have some family coming. We actually have some family coming over for a little mini cookout this afternoon, so we're trying to get all this stuff packed up early in the morning. I like to get that air conditioner going once I get you out of the shed and because I can't run it when you're here because then you can't hear me. So, real quick, I don't think... This is from the first batch. Janelle says I skipped over it. Maybe I didn't. You can be the judge of that since you're watching this. I got a corduroy NFL San Francisco hat, vintage of course, trucker hat that sold for $48. I got that for $2 at a garage sale. I didn't even count that when I saw it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. And when she said two bucks, I, yep. Right up. This next thing I thought would have sold a lot faster. I was still, well, I should say we were still new in the game. Didn't know what the heck we were doing. Um, these were my favorite cartoons. I, I really thought these would have sold faster. I was tempted to keep these, but I like money better, so we sold them. Uh, we got these back in November. We were two months into the game here. We started in September, but they're uh, Looney Tunes mugs here. Got Sylvester, Amr Fudd, Yosemite Sam, drinking glasses. And as you can see, this is how old it is. This is how we first started packing our orders before we learned how to get professional. Just used grocery bags and a pack packaging paper that we bought from who knows where. Probably paid a fortune for it. But you, you learn better ways and cheaper ways to do things. I mean, I've, obviously we got a little more overhead with buying our poly bags we use, but we found cheaper packing materials, so we're able to pack things a little more in a professional manner. Sold another NFL hat. So if you got some NFL hats you're sitting on, it's getting to be football season. Get them suckers listed, everybody. That is a Denver Broncos fitted hat. Is it new with tags? Uh, yeah, it's got the tags. So $17.99 that's going out the door for. We've had that since the January. January, I think? Yeah, that was a, yeah so. after football season. That's about yeah. the Super Bowl. So uh -huh. now it's finally finally moving, getting around to be. Same thing with the golf clubs. You know, we might sell a golf club here and there in the winter, but come springtime, they, they, we clear our inventory and we have to restock. I uh, got a TI84 Plus graphing calculator. Plus CE. We took an offer on that because we had it listed high. We kind of got an idea on what they go for. What did we pay for that? Well, we paid $25 for that. Yeah, I remember we paid up for that. But we took an offer for $76.15. We actually got like five offers on that. And obviously right after we, we listed Yeah, so obviously we took the better offer. on Rather than waiting to sell it for, I think we had it listed for 80 Yeah, so we took like $3. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll, I'll, I'll eat $3 to put the money in my pocket now rather than wait to who... Who knows how long. Marley Hodgson original Gurkha? Gurkha bag. I know nothing about bags. I don't carry any Merces, so not judging. But we had this since May, and that sold for $55. I, uh, I found that at the bins. Um, I, I, I didn't know anything about it either. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe we'll try to get a better picture on there. But um, I, I saw that. You know the emblem there and everything. I was like, well, that looks that looks you know interesting. It looks like it might be something. And yeah, I think we took an offer on it. I pr I might have priced it a little high, but I'm I'm happy with how much did it sell for? We say fifty five dollars. Yeah, I'm happy with a fifty five dollar oh, item from the Goodwill bins. Uh, sold a well, we're gonna have to put some alarms and whistles on this one. Sold a death pile item. As I think Janelle just got this listed. Oh no. Oh, this wasn't death pile. We Actually, sat on it for a while. No. No, I, I just listed that, and as Commonwealth Picker says, when in doubt, part it out. Yeah, I think it would have come from a calculator that didn't work yes. or something. Yep, so I sold the replacement cover and battery back cover. It's a TI-83 Plus slide cover and battery cover replacement parts. And that's going out the door for $9.99. That's all right. Calculator didn't work, and so I, I was able to sell a couple of replacement parts on it, and that sold almost immediately after I listed it. A vintage... 1986. Why am I so bad at pronouncing this stuff? Dakin or Dakin? I don't know. I'm, I'm out of the loop on this stuff. Dakin Fun Farm. You know, I, I should know how to pronounce this because we sell a few of these brand and it's a pretty good seller actually. A Dakin Fun Farm Honey. It's a teddy bear, guys. 20 inch plush. Listed it in June. Going out the door for $30. It's got a little red bow there. Cute. 
Sold some blank VHS. New sealed. Listed them in July. So that, that was a pretty quick seller. Usually they take a while to sell, but you, usually if you can get a big enough lot of them, they'll sell a little faster. That's going out the door for $19.99. You, you get these next to nothing everywhere. Just keep your eyes out, you know. Thrift those. stores, some people give them away to you for free. I so. found those for uh, $2 at a garage sale. Point made. Yep. <laughs> um, Bark Box, the spy who licked me agent. Tree collar suction collar. Oh, yeah, okay. Is this vintage? No, it's a good Really? Because I, I remember these. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it was the thing that sticks to your window in your car. Remember and them used to be big? I wonder if them are good sellers. Yeah. Anybody remember them back in like the 90s? People would stick that plush with the suction cups onto their windows of their car and they'd be waving at you as you drive by. Anyway, back to what we sold. <laughs> this sold for $19.99. And you got Reed on there. Was there something wrong with it? Well, and, and I, I, when I was looking at similar comps, somebody said the same thing. It's new with tags and everything. Um, it says that it's supposed to have like a crinkle sound to it, like a crinkle and... There's no crinkle sound. No, there's no crinkle. The crinkle so is broke. Yeah. And, and that, it's not just this one. I guess, I don't know if that was just like a defect with the toy itself or what, but somebody else said the same thing, and so I just made the same note. And I've heard before that Bark Box can um, can be good. I found this one at a garage sale for a dollar. I found another one for three dollars. That's a little bit bigger. It's still for sale. Um, but I've heard I have heard to look for those Bark Box toys. That some of those can be decent. Cool. Janelle's gonna have to help me out with this one because I'm a little puzzled on this when I went to put this up on the table. Hot Wheels RC Stealth Rides. Now we all know Hot Wheels. We all know what they look like. It says car with remote and manual. Before Janelle explains this, I mean, help me. Am I wrong here, but does that look like a car with a remote control to it to you? So I, I don't know. I was grabbing this. I'm like, I know you can't really see it it's now. going out the door for $25. I'll let Janelle zoom in on that for you. It's got the manual there. You can't really see the, the buttons or anything, but it it's a car that kind of unfolds. It's It folds flat. You can kind of see it there. Um, and then the, the case itself, the case here has... Um, some buttons on it that are the actual, you know, the remote part. So I got that for a dollar at a garage sale. And yeah. Surprised Frankie didn't want that. I don't even know if he knew about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he's Come on, $25 thing, you could let him play with it. That's okay. He's got enough. We like money. <laughs> Next thing, Sony DVC 60 Premium Mini. All right, well, I'm not gonna read this thing. You guys are gonna know what the heck it is. It's, uh, are, are these the answering machine cassette tapes, honey? Maybe. I, I think they're the mini cassette tapes for like an answering machine or, or voice recorder. We've had them for a bit. So yeah, we got them back in February. That's going out the door for $7.95. Um, again, they're, they're slow. So you right, zoom in if you want. Not much to see. I'll picture. Uh, sold for $7.95. Slow movers. Not, not big profit. But if you got room in a bin, throw them in there. You know, why not? You know, if you're limited on space, throw it in your spare room. They avoid, you know, I, there's no right or wrong way to do this, guys. As long as you're making money, you're doing it the right way. Everybody's got different, I, and that's what I love about this. I love, I love getting into the like the chat rooms on YouTube and stuff of everybody doing their lives and hearing about different people's business models. It's, it's fun and it fascinates me how everybody does it differently and still makes good money on it. It's, it's neat. You know, it's very adaptable to whatever fits your lifestyle. As big or as little as you want it's, it. It's cool. You know, people have warehouses where they have employees. People have, uh, I, I maybe I'll post some pictures on the b-roll on this one to show you where we kind of worked out of our townhouse and we kind of worked literally worked out of our townhouse because we had no townhouse left that we were renting and that's why we bought this house so that's why i give so many props to the youtubers that that taught us and we would never bought this house if it weren't for you know watching the youtubers and learning how to scale this but it's pretty cool stuff all right i'm gonna get back to work pack this stuff up i don't know if i'm gonna check back in on this video or not i might close it off here because i don't want to bore the heck out of you guys i'm probably already over 20 minutes on this video i try to keep them under 15 and get you guys on your way on to the next video but so all right i'm gonna cut this off see ya